Good day everyone, I'm going to report in behalf of our group, and our report is about Commonwealth period in Municipala, also known as Moral Land in Commonwealth, the subject of history of Filipino Muslims and indigenous people of Municipala. So what is Commonwealth period? So Commonwealth period, period is a period in which the Philippines is uh, independent in the American colonizers. The Commonwealth is uh, needed by our President Manuel Quezon way back, uh, the, way back in 1935 to 1930. 45. Preparation for the Commonwealth. So the preparation of the Commonwealth is not complete to avoid the moral participation. And also the moral population in general believe that the proposed Commonwealth promise a few benefits for them. So the moral leaders. So the moral leaders thought of themselves that if you can beat them, join them. And also the moral leaders have thought that who would benefit the Philippine state system. So, the one that will benefit the Philippine state system is the national or provincial officers the closely associated with Christian Filipinos. So, who are, who are these Christian Filipinos? They are the Christian Filipinos from Luzon and Visayas. Why? Because from Luzon and Visayas, it's very near to the mainland of the Philippine government. So, these four people, which is Haji Batu, Dato Facundo Mandi of Zamboanga, and Hanji Galoma Rasul, Sultan Ali Alon Toramain in Lanao, are the poor people that is very close to the Christian Filipinos. And also, they are the four people that approve, have approved in the Philippine state system. So, according to Dato Facundi Mandi, Facundi Mandi in February 1930, which he stated on the Mindanao Sulu section, that in a clear and unequivocal it means or may be known that Mohammedans like their brethren the Christian Filipinos wanted to be absolute and complete and immediate independence of the Philippines and that they protest against any intent to divide and disintegrate. Point to Rob Thomas was 1971 the search on Muslim and Filipino document and described the period under discussion. There are records that educated and data rounds morals were enormously disappointed with Tidings McDuffie Law. So the Tidings McDuffie Law has a, a content that, that state that Philippines, Philippines is going to have a Philippine state system, a new system which they are not uh, dependent on the American colonizers or the American people anymore. So Arolas Tolawi and Jose Montano. There are the two representatives that came from Cotabato, and Jose, Jose Montano is also a lawyer. Danto, Dato Mindang Piang and Dato Blasin Suat. There are the representative from Sulu, Aloya Alonto and Tomas Kabili. Tomas Kabili is a fiscal from Lanao. They are both from Lanao. So right after the election, Haji Abdul Kamid Bungabong, a Marlow knowledgeable in Islamic doctrine and law, drafted a letter to the Governor General. So the drafted letter to the Governor General uh, has the content that the religion Islam is not curtailed or changed in any way. The practices and traditions should not be prohibited. And also the kitab or the Muslim law shall not be decided by a Christian official. The letter asked the Governor General to transmit several requests to the Constitu Constitutional Convention. So there are many letters sent by gover uh, to the Governor General from Haji Bugabong. The letter was not read in the convention. Though the delegates from Lanao, Cotabato, and Sulu did their best to represent or present the interest of their moral constituents. So, the six con constituents did their best to present the interest of their moral constituents. The moral and provinces voted, voted for the approval in the, of the new constitution in the national plebiscite, but many more votes came from Christian residents. Mora participated with more enthusiasm in the voting for National Assembly delegates in September 1935. So, the three persons were defeated and three persons have won. The three persons that, that have won the election, which is Dato Umbral Amil Bangsa, Dato Sinsuat Palabaran, and Tomas Kabili. Tomas Kabili was mostly voted by the Christian Filipinos. The three assemblymen elected from Moroland provinces were virtually only speaking for the interests of Muslim Filipino in the Commonwealth government. So, in other words, there were the voices of the Moro people from the Moroland or the Mindanao and Sulu. 
Without them, there's no voices that could speak in the Commonwealth government. The Commonwealth in 1935 was faced with depressed economy and de dependent upon the free trade with the United States. So it means that economic status has been going down and very depressed. And also, they are only dependent on the free trade of the United States. So what was the solution of the depressed economy? So the solution of the depressed economy is Mindanao and Sulu. Because the Mindanao and Sulu region was seen as the answer. Its vast and developed agricultural lands could grow a few crops. So the crops that could uh, that could grow in Mindanao and Sulu region are copras, tobacco, and sugar, which is an export crops. The threat of security was perceived but perceived that arising that from two circumstances. So there are two circumstances that are arising. The existence of non Christian groups. So the existence of non Christian groups. So the existence of non Christian groups have been the big problem of the Commonwealth period. The Commonwealth government solution. So the solution of the Commonwealth government was to send armed forces to encourage substantial numbers of Christian Filipino migrants in Mindanao and Sulu. So the reason behind this migration is because the Luzon and Visayas was overpopulated because of many Christian Filipinos that settling in the Luzon and Visayas area. In order to lessen the problem, they have think of a plan that the Christian Filipinos would migrate to the Mindanao area to lessen the population in the Luzon and Visayas area. And so, migration in the region increases in 1936 onwards. Migration is the solution to both income and security problems of the Philippine government. So, in the Commonwealth period, uh, President Quezon uh, stated on his speech on June 6, 1936 that in the country of Mohammedan Filipinos and Christian Filipinos, they are all about feel the hand of justice as the same way they both did. So it only means that the justice will be equal to both of them. Either or not, the morals of their own justice or own law, uh, the Philippine government law shall be followed and shall be a way equal for both of them. And also, based on Ralph uh, Thomas' observation, morals have been uh, establishing their own law just before the Commonwealth government have arrived. So that means that they have their own law, they have their own uh, education, uh, they have their own uh, structure of government that they intend to follow and also because of the Commonwealth government, the integrity of the Moros and the Christian Filipinos were made and uh, were solidified because of this Philippine state system that was made. So, we like to thank you guys for listening to our video guys, to our report. This is a report about the Commonwealth period in Minsupala and that's all. Thank you guys. God bless.